right, Crystal. Sadly, we've got to have this conversation. Hottest temperatures of the year. We're going to be close to it this weekend. You know, we're wrapping up the month next week. So far this month, all our hottest days of the year have happened in June. 92, we did it on the 10th and the 4th. That's been our hottest temperature of the year so far. And considering what we sometimes get in June, that's pretty good. But where we're going tomorrow, up to 91 degrees. We've got it both days this weekend before cooler temperatures arrive next week. And today, as well as tonight and tomorrow morning, comfortable humidity. Remember earlier this week, it was pretty steamy out there, but our dew point temperature dropped today into the 50s, into the comfy zone. Sadly, that's not going to last forever. In fact, it's not even going to last through the weekend. The humidity will be on the rise Saturday and Sunday. You're probably really going to feel it on Sunday, and our temperatures will return to the 90s. But not not until the afternoon tomorrow morning looking good 65 is how your Saturday morning starts we've got mostly sunny skies in the morning then a few fair weather clouds later in the day and just a small chance of rain right around dinner time tomorrow but before that we will see highs return to 91 degrees listen we've had a great stretch of super sunsets and sunrises this week and Jose is no exception look at this shot he captured earlier this month up in Durham Again, you got the reflection on the water, you got the clouds helping with some amazing shadows, and then you got the tree line. I love this property. I'd love to uh, visit that. Uh, I'll put this on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page if you want to take a second look. Sun is setting right now at 835. This weekend is our latest sunset of the year. Next week, the sun will start setting earlier and earlier. This weekend, we also have Saharan dust. And as we looked earlier this afternoon at the satellite shot from space, you could see kind of that hazy brownish loom over the Gulf of Mexico. Well, if we look closer up here to the Carolinas, here we are in North Carolina. If you look right around in here, you can kind of see that's where the dust had started to move this afternoon. But tonight, we now know the dust has arrived in Charlotte. Chris was flying into Charlotte. He sent me this picture. There's the downtown Charlotte skyline. And at first, look you might think if you didn't know this was Charlotte like well that's got to be what some mountains or something in the background no that's the dust it almost looks hazy almost like there's a smog maybe that you'd see over Southern California but that is the Saharan dust it's very subtle but it does a couple things for us including this look at the sunset it produced here in the triangle at Harris Lake that's an amazing shot Karen was out there tonight and listen this is not going to be a major event for us, this Saharan dust. It's going to do small little things like give us amazing sunset. So have your cameras ready this weekend and send me an email. You know I do this every night at 11 o'clock. Show your super sunsets. So my email is send it at cbs17.com. That comes to the entire newsroom, the entire weather team. Love to get your pictures if Mother Nature provides us with some sunsets this weekend. Mother Nature is also going to provide us with a little bit of rain. Let's talk about the two chances we have Saturday and Sunday. First of all, it's not tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, we talked about it being comfortable, a few fair weather clouds here and there, and then there's that small chance of rain around dinner time tomorrow, mainly in the sand hills. then the rest of the night is dry. So I don't want you to cancel any outdoor activities this weekend because the rain chances are small, but they do get a little better on Sunday. Here we are Sunday morning on Futurecast. Once again, starting dry, not as comfortable with higher humidity, highs in the low 90s, but we'll keep it dry through lunchtime. Then as we get into the early evening hours, here we are at 7 o'clock, couple showers there, few showers around 10 o'clock. That's your 20 to 30 percent chance, but it also comes with a marginal risk of severe weather. So keep an eye on the radar, stay weather aware, especially on Sunday. And stay cool because we've got highs in the low 90s both days this weekend, still around 90 Monday, and then we get into next week. July begins. We've got good rain chances Tuesday and Wednesday, but we've also got mid 80s, the first few days of July, we return to the upper 80s next weekend for July 4th weekend.